That's right, folks. In this video, we are going to the moon with Neil Armstrong. Yes, this is going to be a unique video. Hello, folks. Denobi to you. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. On this episode, we are going to be unboxing the Neil Armstrong 1-6 scale figure from Didco. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, or maybe it's Did Corporation. Not quite sure. Uh, I wish I could say this was the first figure from the company, but I actually purchased their Trump, their Donald Trump, which I used on my Elsa video for the uh, folks keeping track. <laughs> uh, let's get back to space here. This is nice. This is going to be a unique unboxing. I am always fascinated with things uh, with NASA, space, the moon, Saturn V, all that good fun stuff. Let's look at the box art here. like the photo shot, really nice. Uh, I, I like the graphics. Uh, Apollo 11 astronauts, 50th anniversary, which is technically last year, 2019, 1969, 2019. Great layout. Uh, I do like that they do show the accessories, which, oh, this is upside down. Let's go ahead and flip that over. I do like the group shots. This, I, I think this particular figure only works as a set. Uh, you clearly, for, for me, um, I did buy all three. Uh, but if you look at the box really carefully here, I don't like that you don't know that this is Neil Armstrong unless you look at the bar barcode there, Neil Armstrong. Um, I wish they would have labeled it maybe in the front, maybe Neil Armstrong and, or something like that. Uh, it, it's not a deal breaker, but when I did receive all three boxes, I, they're all identical. Um, I wasn't sure which one was which. I wasn't sure which one was Buzz Aldrin or Michael Collins. I assumed that me opening the first box, number one, it would be Neil. First man walked on the moon. I like this. I like this. Uh, magnetic panel here this uh moon landing layout there i'm going to use this i like that it's really neat the other side is just more graphic art from the box but uh i can definitely see myself using this moon landing. i'm gonna have to do something in in the module case i'm gonna have to make some space here in my uh, uh nasa shrine here maybe uh oh gene stern is not gonna be alone anymore <laughs> let's get to this here i like uh i i do like the little slip cover in here now, I do like that the box art here on this uh, slip cover here has instructions on, on how to remove a head, how to pull out the uh, the arms using the, the air dryer. But most 1-6 scale collectors typically know the, uh, the old school blow dryer technique there, I'm trying to heat and pop heads over. I, they earn points with the foam. I love the foam inserts. I love it. I love it. I love it. They get extra tons of points. I like the foam. Uh, compartments, how everything is just spaced. It looks, it looks like a professional, organized collector set. It's just, it's gorgeous. I really, really do. But, uh, oh, the moon boots. I'm digging those moon boots. That is cool. That is really neat. I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm kind of, for some weird reason, I just went straight for the boots. I was just like mesmerized. I really didn't know what to expect. I know Didco has been posting videos on Instagram that I've been purposely trying to avoid. I, I don't want to get influenced uh, by anybody else's videos when I unboxed it. A uh, little extra part there. You see those little uh, tiny little beads there? Those are uh, those are pips. Little tiny uh, steel buttons or pips because I'm assuming they're right here. At one point or the other, they may, f over time, or just me handling the figure, they may pop up. So it's kind of cool that they do get you uh, replacements on there. Let's uh, let's get right down to the prize here. Let's get uh, down to Mr. Neil Armstrong. A light figure. For some weird reason, I thought in my head it would be a, a heavier figure, but it's it's pretty lightweight. Uh, it's not saying it's bad. I just I'm used to uh, a, a figure, a one six scale figure that has weight, but uh, overall impressions on it. I, I'm impressed with the, the stitching, overall look. Uh, I don't know about the head sculpt though. I I would say the head sculpt is probably there. Maybe the paint application could have been a little bit more tweaked. I wouldn't necessarily give it a 10. If you compare it to Neil Armstrong's uh, publicity photo stills, 
Uh, it looks like it could have probably used an extra pass at the paint brush. Sculpt is there though. I'll give him points on the sculpt, but the paint application probably could have been tweaked just a little bit more. It's, it's a little bit too pasty. Not a deal breaker though. Not a deal breaker. What do we got here? We got, ooh, the Omega Speedmaster Chronograph. High tech of Velcro back in the day. <laughs> That's right, the chronograph was uh, kept on with Velcro, space age material. Oh, Neil. I like it. I mean, overall, first impression, it's a great figure. It, it's just, I'm just looking at it and, and just kind of like admiring it. There's a, a few loose threads there that I'm probably going to go back with a pair of scissors and kind of snip. Um, this is interesting though. Uh, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to uh, bendy fingers because I tend to collect Hot Toys and Hot Toys has never incorporated this technology. So this is different. I'm not going to be using, I'm not going to be keeping these hands, but uh, this that was just something kind of to point out that I will be putting on the uh, the space gloves. Uh, I like that they added the, the detail underneath this boot though. It's typically something that as a collector you would never display. So the extra touch and the extra detail is definitely points on my book uh, for Dit. The extra pockets there, I'm just kind of like exploring because it's really, compared to my Gene Cernan astronaut, uh, this is, they really, I, I feel like it, it, they really made, they, they took that extra effort. They went that extra long mile with, with the detail and you can definitely see it. Definitely, I like that, that's cool. Oh, you know what that pocket? I bet you that's the the, the urine, uh, the valve. That's right. That uh, little pouch there is where the urine would be emptied out. Uh, connector tubes to the uh, life support system. And it's pretty solid. I I'm not. I'm looking for imperfections. Uh, I like the the badge, the Apollo 11 badge, uh, the NASA logo. That's uh, sewn. Everything is, is, is it's it's to scale. I like that. It looks really really nice. They did a really good job on the um, the stitching and the badges. I'm just looking at the uh, the suit's O-ring there. Neil's never been much of a of a habit <laughs> of a smiler, has he? <laughs> All right, let's go back to those moon boots. <laughs> got moon boots. Uh, what else we got? We got the gloves. That's cool. The extracurricular gloves will be. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be a pain in the butt swapping. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mentally prepare for that. Putting those little pegs with a, a sleeve. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. What else we got here? We got ah uh, the pressure bubble helmet. Keeps the oxygen in. Keeps him alive. That's cool. Great detail on that. Very, very great detail on that. And we have his radio cap, or his communication. Look at that, that is clever. His communication carrier, nicknamed the Snoopy Cap. That's how he would uh, talk to his, uh, his boys back on the uh, command module. Talk to Michael Collins through that. And we have, this is the add-on visor, yep. So, this wasn't meant to keep air or life support. It was honest. I want to say it was just used to block solar glare. Uh, since there's no atmosphere in the moon, the sun's uh, bright rays could really do some serious damage to your eyes. So that's uh, that's his uh, sun blockers there. Hello, that was me waving at the camera. We have here. This is the. Uh, oh, this goes right on top of his life support. This is the oxygen purge system. Oxygen cylinder, not, yeah, sphere. S spherical containers that contained oxygen, which was used for multiple purposes. Keeping them cool, keeping them alive, keeping the pressure going. All right. Uh, I'm already showing you moon boots. I'm pulling everything out because I'm going to get them built up here. And this is, that's his life support. That is his primary life support system. Look at the detail on this. That is, oh, that's awesome. Solid piece, though. Very solid piece. Look at the detail on that thing. Oh, that's awesome. Nicknamed the PLSS for short. Primary life support. Oxygen uh, 
tanks would sit on top and this would uh, do all sorts of fun stuff. Pump in air, uh, scrub for carbon di the, the carbon uh, the carbon scrubbers on there. It's all here connected to the suit. I love it. I love the detail to this thing. Ah, gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. What's underneath? Another layer of foam. Let's get this out. What else we got? Oh, the moon base. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that base. Oh, real, real wood. Look at that. I'm not used to uh, a classy base like this. It looks like the, looks like it's shifted, but look at the detail on that. Oh, peg for the, uh, it looks like a, a hole up there. Oh, this plaque. That's a nice plaque. 19, uh, that's, that's nice. I really, really do like that. And I like that they included his name tag too. Neil Armstrong, which you can kind of display on the on the base. I like that, that's nice. Beautiful, simply beautiful. Extra pair of hands, because I won't be using his hands. These are not bendy hands, those are regular molded hands. What else we have here? We have, uh, this is the remote control unit. This would go in front of the suit and that's how he would regulate and make sure uh, the things are it's keeping him alive. And that is the real one right there. For comparison, they really they really did a good job on that. Uh, that is the camera. That is the hustle Hasselblad. Uh, the Hasselblad, a 70 millimeter camera, can uh, can work can work out in space. That was high tech for the day. Now we have our, our cell phones. Uh, extra lenses to swap out for the Hasselblad camera. And we have, I want to get the base going. What do we have here? We have the the crotch, uh, crotch pole. Let's go ahead and screw that in there. Let's get that going. I love the detail to this base. It's beautiful. They really, really went all out on this base. I'm not used to uh, being spoiled on the bases. Oh, it looks like the foam insert is popping off. Uh, that's all right. It's an easy fix. It looks like it just wasn't laid properly. I do have double-sided tape, so I'll be able to, or maybe I can just use pressure on it to adjust it accordingly. Looks like it got shifted during transport. That's all right. I won't subtract any points, but I do love the wood. Now, this is confusing, though. I They give you a wood base, a wooden base, but they don't actually design a slot for the plaque. I don't get that. Um, I, I guess you can, the idea is, is that depending on how you display the astronauts, you can put the plaque on the side or horizontal or vertical or, I now the little magnetic uh, pips there is so that you can connect the bases together. So as you're connecting the boys together, let's say you wanna just have them posed with buzz, you can have the bases displayed with each other and connected. So that's, that's kinda cool. That's neat. Just wanted to see what this looks like. Yeah, that's that's badass. I like that. I like that. All right, let's get you to let's, let's get you to the moon. Let's get these little uh, hands off of here. I know it's going to be a pain in the butt to get those gloves on. All right. So I did a quick editing here, and this took me about five to six minutes. This was a pain in the butt. I guess I could have probably pulled out the blow dryer and warmed it up. I I don't. I, no, I didn't want to do that. So, a little bit of pressure. If you don't want to take the extra step and by warming the gloves up, that way it fits in, but a little bit of pressure. Oh, careful with the chronograph watch there. And a little bit of adjusting. Now look at the micro printing on that. Look at this little cheat sheet on there. God, that's 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 impressive. If you, I did zoom in though. So if you folks do want to pause, uh, you can. It's it's readable. I mean, it's incredible. The fact that they did that micro printing on there was pretty impressive. So uh, did Co, you earn points for that because I didn't think you'd be able to read that, but you can. Uh, the, the lunar over boots. Uh, I was a little bit confused with these because uh, I wasn't sure which one was on the left or the right. Uh, I went off by the uh, by the straps by where they're fitting. So the 
over boots would fit over his regular suits because we weren't really sure landing on the moon if uh, Neil would sink to the moon. So we weren't, uh, what was it, the regolith, the, 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 moon, the, the moon's topsoil. We just weren't sure um, if it could support his weight, if he would sink, we just, we didn't know. So that was the idea behind these over boots. So um, it would take up more surface area uh, to help spread the weight evenly. Now, this communications cap here, the Snoopy cap, let me tell you something, I, I almost lost it here. That strap through here, through that hook, oh, that was a pain in the butt. And then getting this connected to uh, inside a suit, there's a little slot in here inside the, uh, the suit. Look at that right there. That's a pain in the butt. I probably killed 20 minutes just dealing with this. And then even in the end, once I was able to get the Snoopy cap on, I damaged and I frailed the, uh, um, the cord the belt so I was not too happy with that I'll show you look at that and then I, I used some thumbtack to keep the uh, the, the frail and together so that's why it kind of looks just kind of gross <laughs> but that being said playing advocate it's not like you're gonna be able to see it so I just don't want my Neil to you know get in trouble when he does land on the moon all right let's get his dome cap that's that's what keeps the pressure not the visor that's what keeps his life support the remember the visor here is just for the glare because the temperatures do spike radically depending on what direction you're facing in the Sun if you're facing towards the Sun you generate a lot of heat if you're away from it it cools rapidly now this right here this right here I, I'm taken it apart because I wanted to see the internal mechanisms that was one of the selling points being able to look at these spherical oxygen tanks but the problem is is though what I discovered is that you have to unscrew it and I'm like ah oh, more work and then it looks like I'm gonna damage it I don't want to damage Neil he's he's the prize he's the hero what I'll do is is that when I get to Michael Collins when I unbox him I'll I'll take that apart it's Michael Collins he never landed on the moon he was up in the command module so that being said let's get over here oh, it's beautiful look at that I just love it man they really they they knocked out of the park with the detail on this uh, take your time adjusting the straps you want to make sure uh, that's the thing too that you know when they were inside the loon and when he was inside the lunar module he had to assemble all this. Uh, this is, I'm assuming that Buzz helped him out getting all this gear on because just attaching this to the action figure is a pain in the butt. Just imagine what it would have been like inside the lunar module. Uh, and get the belts adjusted accordingly. And I, I, I start off guessing. I'm like, oh, let me see if I can figure out where the life support uh, tubes go. So I just, at this point, I'm just kind of sticking it, trying to guess and figure out. And um, like maybe I can just, I mean, it's blue, goes in blue, uh, red goes into red. How difficult can it be? Well, that being said, I do, I do actually get this wrong. Uh, that is the actual final shot there. And that this one here, actually, that little extra pip that came in the box actually goes there. So that's just, that's never used. So this is the correct alignment there. Now, the remote control right here comes with these little tiny plastic little latches here and it keeps f falling off. So uh, did you subtract, I'm subtracting points on did for this poor design here because these little plastic latches here, as you can see, I'm gonna point them to you right there. These little things, they keep coming off and they're supposed to attach or hook on to the front of Neil and that wouldn't be a problem if I didn't have to attach the Hasselback, the Hasselback camera. There's a camera that attaches on top of this remote control. So that's a lot of weight. So I, I, I was stumped. I was like, this is ridiculous. I mean, come on, Dad. How do you not see this, that those little plastic things aren't going to support all that weight with the camera on top? What I figured out was that if I use a neo neodymium magnet with a washer, I could take the washer and because the remote control casing is velcro with a little slip i slipped the washer inside of it and then the the magnet i popped it right in the front because it's already magnetized it sticks right there and it's super strong which now the 
remote control sticks on right right there now I can attach a camera that is the film I mean if I'm gonna land on the surface of the moon and take photos you want to make sure that your Hasselblad camera is locked and loaded I hope I'm saying that right Hassel, Hasselblad Hassel, I think I am and there you go I added the telephoto lens I want to say those are the telephoto yeah those are definitely zoom lens let's get them adjusted onto my base and Neil you are going to the moon so a few little hiccups not deal breakers still love the figure still dig it I, I it's, it's beautiful it's a gorgeous piece other than the uh, the Snoopy cap and the remote control on top Neil is going to the moon hello that's me in the camera how are you doing yeah yeah I, I can't wait to get to buzz next one will be buzz but uh, they really outdid themselves they put a lot of love into this they weren't expect I mean they, they weren't cheap um, I bought the set sets about 700 for the set it's nice it's a uh, it's a gorgeous it's gonna it's gonna fit really nice in my NASA collection they really did it they really outdid themselves on this yeah if you guys can swing it if you guys can are as big as fan as nest as I am it's it's definitely worth it sometime this week though I'll get to uh, next one will be buzz boxes are right there you go number buzz is in the bottom number three is Michael Collins and uh, I had fun I really really had fun doing this hope you guys did too like subscribe leave your comments below Denobi 2